you guys so much for tuning into this Georgia Clay. So I know last week I said that we we're gonna be back in two weeks, but we have so much progress that we just couldn't wait to share with you guys. And again, thank you so much Keisha for the t-shirt and the shout out. And just in case you guys forgot, make sure. All right, so this time we're gonna go ahead and um, start off a little things a little different um, at my mother-in-law's house. And we're gonna see she has so much progress and I wanted to share with you guys. So let's see if she's home. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi guys, come on in. And now she has wiring, so you actually can see that. So she has one here, one here, and then a third there. So if she did the three lights and they're all the same, it'd be really nice. And actually you could put maybe another one right there. That's all yeah, that. Like right or too. is that the um the pot lights? Yeah, that'll probably be the pot, pot light. Lights. Okay. Yeah, but we could exchange these and do the three lights so it just creates some kind of symmetry here. Really nice. And I just noticed my garage door was in. I didn't even notice that. Yep. Awesome. Wow. So she has her electric put in the um, home today. So she has all the wiring for that. And she also has her plumbing put in too. So did you want to explain to them what you did in the bathroom so that you don't have a full, um, like that plastic fiberglass that you yeah. just have to test? So this is my guest bathroom. I decided not to do the divider wall because I just wanted it to be more open since it's closed in and there's no windows. Uh, it's gonna have uh, a vanity here, um, the toilet of course, and then um, my daughter-in-law, thanks to her design uh, ideas, I didn't do the fiberglass clothes in surround. So I'm gonna be doing tile, white, did I and do it right? Bottom. And, and a running bun pattern. What that means is the tiles, instead of going from side to side, they will go up and down and then it will be sort of staggered pattern like this. Yes, very nice. Okay. So this is one of the differences as well because we both have the same bathroom, but we have that wall that she was saying. So since our kids are gonna be sharing that space, they can actually close off the bathroom for the toilet and the shower and then still be able to keep the two sinks. So that's another difference. And Lee coming this way, did you wanna to explain to them your workout room? Yes, so in my middle-aged years, I decided I want to stay healthy and fit. So this is going to be my workout room. I'm going to have either a treadmill or Peloton bike, um, my weight station, and my TV mount for yoga, um, exercise videos, things of that nature. And then of course my closet will be used to store extra uh, it, exercise equipment. Okay. This room will be my guest room. So if ever you want to come visit me in Balgrand, Georgia, this will be your accommodation. So you will have a view. If you look through here, you can see, see some greenery, but at the same time, there's a beautiful view in the backyard. So if you ever come to visit me, um, that's where we'll be spending the majority of our time on the back porch, sipping wine. I might have to use this room because Matt snores, so I might need it. So. <laughs> you have a base yet. <laughs> that is true, I can't use it. And then coming this way again, I love how wide her foyer is. So there's three of us standing here now. Of course, my husband's behind the camera, her son. But we all can fit here and we're not on top of each other. You know, it's not like your traditional one story as soon as you open the door and bam, the whole house is right there. Um, so did you want to explain here your beautiful great room? This will be my great room with my fireplace, which will be shiplap. My firebox is down low as opposed to having it raised. I just felt that I wanted more space up here for the larger TV. And then swinging around, you cannot <laughs> ignore this absolutely gorgeous view, which will never be blocked. This will be my view always. So sure I'm excited. Yeah. Um, this opens up into the kitchen, what will be my island here. Um, this will, good space. This will be, yeah, yeah, this will be my little dining, eating, kitchen area. Of course, my cabinetry will be here. Um, I will have a cooktop and then built-in oven microwave into the wall. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, my refrigerator. And 
Uh, this will be my pantry area. Oh, what about over here? Are you gonna do like a built-in here, like in this space? I haven't decided, but I, I'm thinking just lower built-in here because this this is this cabling here mm -hmm. is where I'm gonna have them drop all of my uh, electrical and cabling for the cable, internet, router, mm -hmm. sound system, and everything. So I'm thinking about putting a built-in lower cabinet here with floating shelves above. That'd be really nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and another thing also that she did is she put in surround sound. So she'll have speakers in her house. I think these right here where the red um, yes. things are are actually her speakers. So she'll have one there and one there. And then she also did some Two speakers outside. outside. So that's going to be really nice to enjoy. So I can't wait to come over. Mm -hmm. So going into my master bedroom, right off the great room, arch entry, uh, foyer area, which I'll probably do something really nice here and floral. Uh, going in here, we have the three windows, one being a transom to let in that natural light. And I'm thinking, I have a tray ceiling, so I'm thinking about doing something fun up there. I haven't decided if I'm doing shiplap and wood um, paneling or white um, or just something painted and fun with a, a disappearing blade ceiling fan chandelier. Really, really, really nice. Of course, I'll have a king size bed. My pocket doors are here. So going into my master bath, I will have sliding pocket doors. Um, and then I have a garden tub here, which again, taking my daughter-in-law's decorative advice, mm -hmm. I decided not to do the fiberglass surround and I will have a, in a running bun pattern, the gray uh, tile. And then the floor of my shower um, will have the two by two in square marble mm -hmm. tiles on the shower floor. And then I'll be replacing the standard shower doors with the custom black frame shower doors. And then here I will have a double vanity with black fixtures. Um, my toilet room, of course, um, will have black handle. And this goes into my master closet, which of course I will have custom shelving installed. But one of the best things about this closet that I love was the little extra cost that I had to, for them to install a door. So to go from my closet directly into my laundry room. So I have two ways to enter my laundry room. So when I'm coming home from work, I can come in from the garage into my laundry room this row, throw my clothes in the laundry, come into the closet, slip into my jammies through the bathroom and go to bed. So it's just great. I love it. So I'm getting excited. And of course, we're back at the beginning of the garage door, which I have a two car garage. And her mudroom, don't forget your mudroom. My mudroom. Mud mud it's gonna be very beautiful and it's built in and that's something that we were able to um, both get through the builder. So. We'll have that one, Nicole. Yes. Okay. So on Wednesday, you have a meeting for your drywall, right? Yes. So next week, she'll have drywall, at least at least some of it put in, so yes. it'll be started. So we'll have an update on that as well. So she's getting closer and closer um, to her finish date, hopefully sometime in July. Kind of that if time not frame. sooner. I so know. the good news that I received on Thursday is that they're slightly ahead of schedule on my build. So I am completely dry. Um, he says it's a dry build, which means there's really no more external construction that they need to do other than finishes. Um, so now they can really concentrate on getting the inside ready with drywall and flooring and my fixtures and appliances. So he's thinking they're a couple of weeks ahead of schedule. So I could be looking at maybe mid June, late June, as opposed to mid to late July. Yeah, so any advancement is great advancement. Yes. So thank you guys so much. And Lee did such a good job. I'm so proud of her. Um, so we will see her again next week because um, she'll have some more improvements on her home. Um, but another good thing with our house, um, we're gonna have some improvements on it as well. So actually this week on Thursday, we're gonna start our framing. So I'm super, super pumped, super excited about that. My parents are coming to visit at the end of the month and this will be the first time that they come to visit. So they'll actually have a house that they can walk through that's framed. And of course, we'll still come back to Lee's house so they can see that as well. All right, so now let's go over to our house, guys. 
Hey guys, so we're at our house. Um, so as you can see, they have some plumbing down here for our basement and they have everything ready to go. It's all laid out so they can lay the foundation on Monday, so um, tomorrow. And then also we have our pre-construction walkthrough on Tuesday. Our builder is a custom production builder. So what that means is that you get to pick out everything. I mean, we got to pick out everything from our handles. I mean, anything you think of, we got to think uh, pick out. So they make sure you go over your blueprints to make sure that everything that you put in your home matches before they actually start the framing. So once we do that Thursday, they're gonna start framing it. So hopefully our house will start looking like that house over there, our neighbors. Um, I could not remember their names. I feel so bad, um, but we'll know them soon enough. But our wood is here, so um, you'll see some aerial footage of that as well. But that is our wood for lot 179. I'm super pumped, super excited. Um, so can't wait to see you guys next week because we'll have a framed house. So again, guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe and also share it with a friend as well. And remember this Georgia play. Guys, have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye.